Good morning. It is Erica here from Me Too Paper Crafts, and I'm excited to be back for Mojo Monday. Let's see what we can come up with to start our week off with paper crafting. I have, I think it's going to be a cute little card, and I wanted to do this to, um, to celebrate our neighbors to the south, our American friends. I have a lot of Stampin' Up! friends. I've a big connection to the United States through my business. And so shout out to all of my American Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Hello, hello. And also to the friends that I have that live in the United States. So today, I, today I'm going to make kind of a Canadian American card. And it's going to be celebrating our flocked friends, our birds that freely fly across the border back and forth. So I hope you will join me and uh, have a look at some of the ideas that I'm doing and the stamp set that I'm using. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Good morning, Carol Lynn. I've got people joining in as I go, but I'm going to switch my camera down so you can see my desktop and then we'll get going. So let's just bring up my... Um, Facebook page here. Um, on my laptop, I've turned down my volume, so I should get no echoing this morning. And let's go to my page from me to paper crafts. That's where you find me. And here we go. And let's see if my live is there. Yes, there I am. Let's pull it up. I've got four people watching thus far. What it tells me and hopefully I can see comments coming in there we go good morning Let's see if I can just move this over no I can't good morning so there is one of my American friends Carol welcome home and care to Carol's this morning good morning Carol Carol and Barbara is here, and Carolyn is here. Hi. More may join in as we go along. I've got my coffee here. I hope all of you had a wonderful Canada Day weekend, as uh, today is Independence Day. So you're celebrating today. There were a lot of festivities across Canada. I think people were super celebrating because of the restrictions with COVID over the past two or three years. And um, yeah, so people really got to celebrate a lot, which was great. We heard the fireworks here in Victoria. We did not attempt to go downtown because it's always just too many people and too f hard to find parking and taxis aren't available and it's too far a walk and I'm putting in all kinds of excuses but I have been down there many, many, many times in the past. Okay, so today we're going to start with uh, garden birdhouses. I thought this was pretty appropriate. I'm going to make one birdhouse using Canadian colors and one birdhouse using American colors. Now, our colors are very similar. The difference being that the U.S. flag has the uh, blue in it, so the Knight of Navy, and Canada is just uh, red and white. And so we'll add some Knight of Navy trim to the American birdhouse. You guys must think I'm crazy thinking up this idea, but I thought it was going to be kind of cute. I'm in a kind of a cutesy mood this morning. Okay, um, let's get going. So garden birdhouses. I haven't prepped too much. I've got a lot of my blends here because I'm going to do some coloring. I pulled out some um, designer series paper in the Knight of Navy and the Real Red. And I've got a card base of real red. Um, I thought that would be, I don't know, I might change it up to Knight of Navy. You'll have to tell me whether a Knight of Navy card base or a real red card base would work better. Um, after I get the card designed, we can decide on the card base and see which one looks better. So I'm going to just score this at four and a quarter, and I will have to run and get a Knight of Navy one. So let me just quickly do that before I get started. Okay, here's the Knight of Navy. 
Let's score this at four and a quarter. Okay, and then we can decide which card base will look better. All right, now I'm flying by the seat of my pants this morning. I have kind of an idea in my head, but we will see how it goes. So what I thought I would do is create a couple of, um, sorry, I just bumped the camera. Um, forget what I was saying there for a second there. I've got a brain blip. Yeah, so I have an idea in my head and we'll just see how it works out. All right, so I've got my two card bases. Boy, look at that. Look at those two colors together are beautiful. Okay. Now, um, let's, I haven't decided yet what I'm doing with this, but I'm going to create my design on here first, I think. And I want to, I think I'm going to cut this down I'm going to cut this down maybe to, I want to create some stripes with that paper. I might cut this down to three inches. So I started out with a four by five and a quarter, and I'm just going to cut this down to three inches here. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it. Hang on. I'm going to leave it. Let me just cut the pieces I'm thinking of first. So I'm going to cut this by, um, start with one inch, one inch. Let's do two one inch pieces here. Okay. <clears throat> So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a bit of white so that um, I'm going to do one here and I'm going to overlap this one here like this maybe. So I'm going, so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to put a pencil mark like here and here. So I know that I'm designing to the on the left side here is what I want to do here. Okay, so let's get out. Let's see, we've got some adorable birdhouses here. There's three in this set. Now, unfortunately, there aren't any dies with this set, but I have cut these birdhouses out. Um, they're easy to cut out if you wanted to cut them out. I'm going to do like a flat design today. We've got this fantastic branch. So I think I need this bigger block there. So I've got my two birdhouses. I've got my branch. And um, I want to do some, we've got a variety of different, like sort of like wildflowers. We've got two wildflowers patterns here. Just going to get everything mounted. So two wildflower patterns. And then we've got a bit of grass that we could fill in in the bottom. There's lots of pieces to the stamp set. It's really a fun stamp set. If you like birds like I do. And I'm going to incorporate a um, hello in here as well. That's not big enough. I'm going to do a hello in here. 
Okay, what else do I need? Um, oh, we need the posts. So these are going to be birdhouses sort of in a field. Reminds me of when um, we were in the Okanagan a couple of years ago. We stayed at a we stayed at a winery and they had birdhouses. on posts in the field. Ugh, I don't like doing things on an angle. I get all discombobulated. This is kind of an odd little piece, but there you go. Okay. All right. Let's first do this branch. Now I'm going to be using my Memento Black ink because I'm going to be using my blends. Let me get a piece of white. paper under here. Okay. So did you know, I just found this out and it's a promotion with Stampin' Up! just to really uh, explore all of our watercoloring tools for this month. The month of July is World Watercoloring Month. So I am going to be doing some videos on watercoloring techniques and all the different tools that we have. All right, so I'm going to put this branch like right here. Okay. And we'll do some coloring on that. And then I want to do some birdhouses. So let's see, we're gonna do I'm thinking this card should have been one of those tall slim line cards. So let's see, I'll do a birdhouse here. And I'm going to do a birdhouse here. Okay. We've got one a Canadian birdhouse and one is an American birdhouse. And we're going to then put a post on these. So I'm going to turn these sideways. I'm going to bring this closer to me so I can line it up really well. Let's put one post there and we'll switch it around. Put one post here. Okay, so we've got our scene going, and we've got a couple of birds in the set as well. Okay, so now I'm going to do some flowers. Now, um, I should have brought over my stamp and write markers to do these because they are um, if I do them in black, they're going to be solid black. So let me just grab. So you cannot use blends on your photopolymer stamps. Let me pull in um, some of All right, so what I want to do with this is I'm going to color um, color the um, the leaves, the green part, with my Stampin' Write marker.
and then I'll huff on it before I stamp it because when you're putting different colors on there um, oh, see that was a green leaf right there it's hard to see okay flower 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 and the rest of that was green sometimes you have to you know do this a couple of times so that you can see where this stuff where the color is okay let's give that a try so i'll huff on it and i'm going to go off the edge of the paper now before i do that <clears throat> another one <clears throat> excuse me i want to color in so this color is a uh, soft suede so I'm going to color in our, our um, I don't know what you call these, our stands. Okay, so now we can do a few more flowers. Now we've got some other different, or just, um, there's a couple of flowers on here, just to make it a little bit different. So I always use the brush end of my marker here. To be honest, I use the brush end of these markers all the time. I hardly ever use the other, other side. I mean, if you wanted to do some handwriting, then the other end is good. <sighs> okay, <I'm, clears throat> excuse me. Let's do one more of these. Okay, so we have a few little flowers down here. Let's cover up my ink pad. Okay, and we have um, some bits of green, and I forgot to bring over my ink pad, so I'm just going to use my marker on here. I'll just do a bit of grass. Here and there. Okay. So I think that's a pretty good design. How are you guys doing? Oh, I got to scroll to see comments. Sharon is here and Lori is here. Good morning, ladies. And Christine, good morning, everyone. Yeah, how was your weekend? All right, let's do a bit of coloring here. So I'm going to just, now when there's very small areas to color, I usually just dab my pen on rather than try and, you know, scribble. I just do a little dabbing.
Oh, there's quite a few leaves on this little branch. Okay, there we go. All right, oh, there's a little leaf right here. Okay, now it's time to do our birdhouses. So let's see. Let's do this one as the American um, one because I want to do a red body. I'm going to do a red, let's do a plan. I'm going to do a navy blue um, roof, a red body, and a white door. How's that? So what did I just say? Red I'm going to turn this. I often turn my cardstock when I'm coloring. You know, I'm trying to find the best angle for the point of the um, marker. Okay, so now let's bring in my light Knight of Navy. And we're going to do the roof. Okay, I'm going to leave a little bit of white there. And let's just do this. And then we'll leave the door white. We'll do the perch a little blue. And I think we'll do this blue. So there is our cute little house. And then for the Canadian house, it's pretty simple. It's going to be red and white. I'm going to make it striped, I think, just to add some interest. So let's do this in red. And then we'll do this one in red. And we'll do this one in red. And then this one is in red. I think we need a bit more red on here. So I think I'll do this whole side red. And then I'm going to do, I think I'll do the roof red, but leave the trim white. Okay. Those are too cute. 
I hope you guys agree. Okay, now I'm just going to erase these pencil marks I put on here. Okay, and let's now move those markers out of the way. Now I'm going to put the navy blue one here. And I'll overlap the red. Somehow like that. Okay, let's now get rid of this. And let's get out my tape runner. Now I've left these a long length simply because um, I'm going to use my grid paper here. Simply because um, you try to cut it absolutely exact and sometimes it's a bit short. So if you um, make it longer then you can always trim it I want to leave a bit of a white edge I think here oh I knew I was gonna run out on camera I just knew it so where's my Tombow glue here we go yeah I need a new one of those Please don't. Oh, good. I was just thinking I might be out of Tombow glue, too. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's kind of a good idea, Lori. A turntable. Although I wonder if like my wrist, you know, as you're on the turntable, unless it was a really big turntable. You know, I used to have this, oh, I might even still have it. Um, I actually, it's in use. It's up in my cupboard. It holds all of our water bottles. Um, and water and coffee containers so we can turn it so I can't steal that um, some turntables have a like a lip to them what am I looking for my scissors um, yeah I think it would have to be pretty big just to incorporate your you'd have to have be able to put your whole hand on there yeah trim from the back what am I doing but yeah good suggestion Okay, I'm just looking for other questions here. Is that birdhouse set? Yes, the birdhouse set is in the annual catalog and it is called Garden Birdhouses. Yeah, they carried it over and it is as cute as can be. See, you've got a little hook here that you can hang it from the branch if you want to. They give you a little extra leaf pattern to add more leaves. You've got your grass, your flowers, wildflowers, and you've got three different bird. This is a cute one, this pagoda style. And great greetings. Welcome, birthday wishes. So glad you're here. Hello. Hope each moment of your day is as special as you are. I don't know what back would represent. Welcome back. That's it. Welcome back. Yeah, so cute greetings. Cute set. Okay, so, all right, now, ladies, you need to help me with this part because I'm not sure whether it should go on the Knight of Navy. 
background or should it go on the real red background? So let me know what you think. Um, yeah, let me know what you think as I, I have a sip of my coffee. <laughs> I should take my lid off because it's um, in the way. Did you see my mug? I don't know if I can show it very well. Maybe I'll show it when I go back to my camera. It's just, It's got a llama on it, a really cute llama on it. I don't know if that picks up in the camera. And it says, not my problema. <laughs> not my problema. Mm. Mm. Sorry about that, you guys. I got my new light. Had to order a new light. All right. We have any comments yet? I wish this was more instantaneous. But I have to wait. Night of Navy, if you want an American vibe. Real red, if you want a more. <laughs> Carol, and Carol, my American friends, Night of Navy. Yes, night. we do want it to make it a more American vibe, simply because we are celebrating Americans, the Americans' Independence Day. Yep, I've, and I do, really, from a design perspective, I do like the native Night of Navy better. All right, so let's glue okay now I have no more tape so I have to grab my tape runner or sorry my glue oh excuse me excuse me again all right let's put this on our card base well, I think this is a, turned out to be a very cute card, if I don't mind saying so myself. Okay. I was going to make a card with uh, stars and stripes, but I don't have any current stamp sets that have any stars in them, unless there's something in the um, new holiday catalog that I haven't purchased yet. But then I thought, well, that might be just a little bit boring. I wanted something with a little bit more neighborly, and I think birdhouses uh, do the trick. Okay, so what should we do for the inside of the card? Let's grab another that's four five yeah let's do something on the inside of the card so we could just do a bunch of flowers along the bottom um i think i'm more inclined to add some birds in here there's some really cute little birds so i think i'm going to add some little birds just have them in the grass i think So here's one cute little bird. Isn't he cute? Can you see him? He's cute. And um, let's grab another bird. There's this little guy. I think there's one facing the opposite direction. This one. Faces the opposite direction, which is good.
Okay, let's get some grass in here. I'm just going to grab my other ink pad. It's faster than using a marker. This is my granny apple green. is in here. If you overlap them, then you get, you know, thicker grass. Okay, and let's color our little birds. Let's see what colors have I got here. Oh, I brought in a bit of blue here. So I can do... I won't get too detailed with the birds. Let's do a little blue one. Okay, there's a few little birds, and I think I might do the branch, too, at the top. And then I can finish coloring it off camera. I think we might need a bit more. I don't want to get ink on my silicone mat because then I have to go and wash it. So I think I'll just do the branch at the top like this. Okay. And then I'll just color the green leaves so I won't keep you any longer. And then this will go on the inside of our card. And I'll do, I might do a few little birds hopping around on the envelope as well. I usually like to match my envelope to the inside of my card. Okay, let's um, say hello and goodbye. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed today's card. Again, these are the garden bird houses. Very cute in our annual catalog. And like I said before, the birdhouses are very easy to cut out. So you could 3D them on your card. Thank you, Barbara. Thanks. Um, thanks for all your suggestions. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, Carol, happy Independence Day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, I don't know when your celebrations will be. Probably tonight, I would think there will be some big fireworks somewhere. So wherever you decide to go, have fun and enjoy. And um, 
We'll see you again. What's today? Monday. I'm getting back into my routine again. So I will see you on Thursday night for Case the Caddy. I will do something from the new catalog, I think, the new mini catalog. And um, yeah, so if you are new to me and you don't yet have a catalog, let me know and I will get you one. And yeah, there you go. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks so much for the heart. And um, yeah, have a great day. Bye, guys.